What up, folks? Welcome back to UltraZilla Toys. I'm here with UltraZilla Jr. in the back. Hi. <laughs> and we're going on a little Long Island toy adventure. I'm uh, heading out to the Muteki Sales headquarters to pick up a few figures. We will show them off to you. And then there's a, there's a Walmart, a Target, a TRU all in the area. So we're going to stop in and see what they got. <laughs> And I'm, I'm waiting for some coffee. Um, we're in drive through so he looks like he needs some coffee too. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll uh, catch you a little bit after. We're here at Toy Diva in Long Island. Really cool store. What do you think, Ultra Zola Junior? You like it? What do you got? <laughs> what do you got? What is it? It's yummy. What is that? What's it called? Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Yummy, yummy world? Something like that. We're gonna see what's in there a little later. But we're taking a look, checking out all the stuff they got in here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Very cool. Look at all this awesome stuff. A lot of import stuff here. Dad, come, come. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're leaving though. Dad's taking a quick video. I got a little something too. We'll show it off a little later. That's a great stuff. We just come for me. Yeah. Oh, look. We got all of this. Got some dorbs. <laughs> and then more figure arts. And a lot of Gundam models. And UltraZilla Jr. wants to leave. So we're going to take off. But very cool stall, store here. All right. Oh, look. Doctor Strange. Figure Arts Doctor Strange. Daddy hasn't seen this yet, bud. That's pretty cool looking, right? Very nice. So, this is what uh, Ultrazilla Jr. got in the little kid robot yummy world. He's got a sushi, which is cool because it's one of the ones that they had on display. Sushi and the uh, pretzel. So, I'm glad he got one of those because that's, he really liked them. So, you like it? Yeah. <laughs> I also picked up something here at Toys Diva. I got a absolute Chogokin, Chogokin, however you want to say it. I, I vary. Uh, and I got Grendizer. Um, I never picked up one of these. I, I don't even know if I've seen them in person. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get a little something. I wasn't prepared to get anything major here, so, but I wanted to support. Very nice folks. I actually met them at Eternal Con earlier this year, so really cool to check out their store real quick. Um, there was way more to the store than I got to show, but as you heard, Ultra Zilla Jr. wanted to uh, get back outside. So, all right, what happened, bud? I need the box. Where'd the box go? You dropped it? Yeah. All right, I'll go get a few. All right, we're gonna move on to Muteki Sales Headquarters. All right, folks, we're at the Muteki Sales Headquarters, the secret headquarters. Secret headquarters. That's, they're setting up for uh, Comic-Con, but they're nice enough to let me film a little bit in here. Look, shh, this is behind the scenes. Say hi. <laughs> it's Dawson, and this is Ray. We've seen Hello. Ray on the channel before at New York Comic-Con last year and on some other videos. How you doing, What folks? do you got there? What do you got there? We got ourselves a Kamen Rider Wizard Sword Gun. Nice. This will be uh, for sale at New York Comic-Con? That is absolutely correct. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. These guys always have an awesome presence at NYCC, so definitely come check them out. But we're here because I got a few things. Yay! A couple things. Oh, oh. What did I get? SHF King Joe. And... His Gomara. Very cool, right? You like those, buddy? Yeah. Yeah? Very nice. And check this guy out. I just want to show you guys. Ray was just showing me this amazingly giant. Uh, what is this? Agito, right? All right, coming right to Agito. Uh, statue. How big is this thing inside? It's pretty much as big as the box. <laughs> oh my god! Huge, huge thing. That is super cool. Oh, what's that guy? 
There's the unboxing. You will see. Is this what I'm looking at right here? No. Oh, this no. is something different? A different one. This is a big guy, too. Yep. It's all from the same uh, courses. Oh, uh, you want to open up King Joe? Yeah. <laughs> well, if they have a knife, we will open it here, okay? All right. Hold on. I can help you with that. I just want to, I want to see this guy. Um, this is cool. I wonder. Hmm. This is very nice. So are these uh, special orders for people? Uh, they were, uh, these are limited edition figures. Mm -hmm. And what it is is that, you know, we managed to get them, get them back into stock from Japan. Very cool. Yeah, and. Uh, he's very big, right? Yeah, buddy? he's pretty, pretty huge, huh? That is really nice. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Uh, we'll open the other one too. In TRU in Long Island, this is one new Black Series I won't be getting. They just can't seem to get poor Poe right. I guess it's a little better, but oof. This is one that I want, but I will wait for some sort of price drop or some coupon or something. Along with this guy. Still, still want it, but still waiting. Price drop. Price drop for me, TRU, please. What up, folks? Uh, back in the studio. Actually, it's the next morning. It's really early the next morning. Um, excuse the hair, but, you know, if you watch this channel, my hair is all over the place all the time. So, um, but yeah, next morning. I had a lot of camera issues yesterday, a lot of storage issues. Uh, I don't know what was going on. I Hopefully, this video won't knock out on me early. Um this part of the video. Uh, so yeah, back home and uh, we, I just want to like recap what we did. So yesterday we stopped by Toys Diva, if you didn't hear me good, uh, on Long Island. It's a really cool store and um, imports, a lot of Funko Pops, uh, a lot of blind bag type stuff, um, very little other uh, imported, uh, not imported, domestic stuff, mostly like a pop slash import store, uh, which I thought was really cool, and, um, a lot of cool stuff, I only picked up the one, I picked up that little blind box, uh, for Ultra Zill Jr., and this guy again, uh, not gonna open this right now, but I will review that, and then, you know, we stopped by Muteki Sales, and I was gonna do, um, unboxings of King Joe and, uh, Gamora, Gomora, however you want to call them. Uh, I'll, I'll look up uh, <laughs> how you really say it. I've heard it so many times in my head, but for some reason it's just not, not coming to me. And Ray said Gomora right before I started filming, film, filming the video there. So, um, King Joe out of the box. Did take him out. You know, we took out both of them. Uh, the video did not come out, unfortunately. Uh, but King Joe is really nice. Ultra Zilla Jr. really, really likes this guy. <laughs> but I was afraid he was going to break him, so... <laughs> uh, I brought him down to the studio right away. Um, and... Gomara! I'm going to just call him Gomara. Looks really nice as well. I will open him again. For you guys. Uh, and... His hand comes off pretty easy. There you go. Looks really good. I really like this piece. Um, so, okay. <laughs> As I'm doing this, I got a counter offer for uh, another Voltron piece. Oh, his mouth fell off. Um, and I think I'm going to take it. So, there you go. Um, yeah, so as you quickly saw on it, we did stop by TRU afterwards. We stopped by Walmart before that, but that must have been the worst Walmart I've ever been to. Um, and I've been there before, um, and it wasn't that bad. It looks like they consolidated their action figures into one aisle, and not even one aisle, like half an aisle, like one side of an aisle. It was really bad. I don't know what they're doing in this one. Um, and this is right by the Roosevelt Field Mall, and it's like huge. It's very surprising, very bad. Uh, I didn't film anything in there, even uh, with my camera being messed up. Like, I would have tried to, like, finagle something in it, but there was nothing to show, guys. It was really 
horribly depressing. Um, so we just, you know, I went in. We, I did buy something though. Um, but it wasn't anything worth filming at that point. And this is funny, uh, and I felt really bad. Um, so I got this little bag, uh, <laughs> uh, Transformers Rescue Bots, Optimus Prime, and these little baggies. It's like a, a not blind bag, and you could actually pick, <coughs> excuse me, uh, which one you wanted. Now, I had... Optimus and Bumblebee in my hand, and I showed them both Ultra Zilla Jr. And I thought he said he wanted the Optimus, um, but I should have known better because he loves Bumblebee. Um, and I paid for everything. I got to the car and I showed. I was like, "Here you go," and he started going crazy. He wanted the Bumblebee, um, but we were on a tight schedule, and Walmart was really packed, and I. Didn't want to go all the way back in there to get it. And he'll get another Bumblebee soon, I'm sure, uh, whether it's this or something else. But he didn't want this. He, like, wanted nothing to do with this. So I, I guess, I guess I'm keeping it <laughs> here. So let's just open it. It is what it is. I'll try to give it to him again, see if he, if he cares for it. Um, he does like Optimus, so... It's interestingly packed. His hands are behind his back, and then there's plastic. Oh, he's got like... Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I did not know he had the little razor blade Energon hand. That's nice. This is actually really neat. This is a... There you go. I'm a big Optimus fan anyway, so I don't mind having it um, in my collection. Uh, then... So that was Walmart, we went into TRU, uh, I showed you the Poe, and then they also had the Snow Trooper, I'm not sure which series that's from, if that's one of the new ones, the regular Snow Trooper from the original series, um, and I, for some reason I thought I had it and I didn't buy it, and I should have because I don't have it. Um, one of those things, it wasn't like... I wasn't really thinking about it. It might have been from series before that, but I, I definitely don't think I, uh, I... I don't know. I was confused. I think I was thinking of the first order Snow Trooper. <sighs> it is what it is. That's fine. Um, so not much going on there besides what I showed anyway, except for what I just said. I probably would have filmed a little more in there, but again, I was having camera problems. Um, and then we left the area, and then on the way back, we stopped by Target. We didn't go to the Target right in the area because... Um, I wanted to hit the road, it was getting really late, but then we were making good time, and there is a Target on the way home, so right off the highway. So we stopped in there, and they had a lot of interesting things that I hadn't seen. You know, they had Admiral Thrawn, I didn't pick it up because I already got it from Dorkside Toys coming. Um, I, I would have, it's obviously a little cheaper at Target, um, but because I had a, uh, I had just sold one little thing on eBay. I had a l little bit of PayPal money. So the, the Admiral Thrawn I am getting is kind of like half price anyway. So it was just nice. It was nice to see because it looked really good. Um, that was really the only thing I saw there um, from Black Series that was new. And then... Uh, but they had a lot of... Well, yeah, from Black Series. But they had a lot of other things that I hadn't seen before. And I would have filmed there, but... Again, I didn't have any space left. Um, I did pick up a couple of things um, that I hadn't seen before in like in store. I saw these at Toy Fair, uh, and I don't know how long they've been out. It's the Troll Hunters um, little figures, the basic Troll Hunter figures. I love this series. It's really good on Netflix by Guillermo del Toro. Um, so I picked up Jim, who's already opened, uh, Ultra Zilla Jr. wanted to open it, and these are from Funko, uh, and I'll get him out in a second, and uh, Bular, if that's how you say his name. Um, so I got, you know, the two, the, you know, protagonist and antagonist of the series, um, and, uh, yeah, that's really all I want. Um, however, yeah, because I saw them at Toy Fair this year, and they look really cool. I don't know how long these have been out. I don't know if they're Target exclusive. I've never seen them in like TRU or something. Um, so I don't know. They had like a couple other ones, a few other ones. So they, maybe they're new. Newly out, not sure. 
this Jim, um, unfortunately, as soon as I took him out of the package, his knee broke. Uh, yeah, I just moved his leg just to test it out, and one leg kind of snapped a little bit on one side, so... I've heard, you know, Funko's, uh... Action figures have really bad QC issues when it comes to stuff like that. Um, it's a lot of times why they're discounted. But yeah, this is the leg. It's kind of it's hard to see here, I guess. But it's it's like one of the it's like a little hinge there. There's a little bit of a ratchet there, and I guess this was just stuck in there, and just one little piece snapped in there. Not cool. Not a great look. I'm still going to review these guys. I'll re do a review together. But that's points against this already, unfortunately. They do look decent, I gotta say. So and they were cheap. You know, 20 bucks for both of them. You know, all together. You know, Bular was like 11 and that one was like eight ninety nine or something like that. Eight, what, $7.99, eight ninety nine, eight ninety nine, one of those. But that's it. That's all um, I got on my little, our little adventure. Um, so pretty cool. Fun day overall. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. I wish I was able to film more inside stores. But anyway, you got this, you got a little, you know, little, uh, recap and a little haul. So, there you go, guys. Uh, I hope you dug it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Now we're on to, no, we're not. I have other hauls to, <laughs> one more thing to unbox. We'll do it in a separate video. Um, and then we'll get to reviews. I got a lot of reviews to do. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of reviews. All right, guys, that's it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.